Hello fellow Scratchers, it's Game Jam winner's time again and the theme for our fourth official Thriftpatch Academy Game Jam was Moving Home. How did our Scratchers interpret this? <laughs> Let's find out. We open with three shortlisted adventure game entries. The first is a wonderful hand-drawn and animated adventure by FR Wolf UB. Can you solve the hidden mystery in your new home? This game is full of little touches, like the use of sprite squashing, that really brings the characters to life in a fun way. Everest123 presents Homeward Bound, showing off their skills, combining a fun narrative with excellent AI-generated art, and it really shines. See if you can make the right choice on your journey home. And lastly in this category, Scratcher Builder Brooks brings us the Map of Destiny Coming Home, an exciting RPG game with a classic battle system. Can you defeat the slimes and find your way home? Three awesome adventure games, but only one can be the winner, and it's New Home by FR Wolf UB for their super art and entertaining narrative. Great job! Next up, our shortlist for Best Animation. Winter Melon Boss shows us how the best way to move a house is by Rocket in their animated short, Moving Home. A more down-to-earth moving experience is documented by Funny Coder Guy 707 in Moving Home, along with their excitable siblings. I'm not sure what happened to that poor Rubik's Cube though, you'll never get that back together. Mr. E 2010 returns home to find their home has been moved by construction workers. Or perhaps it was King Kong? <laughs> Just saying. And lastly, oh my, a real treat from the previously shortlisted Binky Beaver. Following our poor protagonist's flight after a loud and disruptive new neighbour moves in next door. But being resourceful, he begins to come up with a cunning plan. Will he succeed? You'll have to watch and find out. But now we need to pick a winner. And the best animation goes to... Yes, Project Moving Home by Binky Beaver. Well done. Best Arcade Game. Always a highly fought after category with the majority of entries. Narrowing it down to just four was so difficult. So, inspired by the classic animation Up, Pixel Program has us flying our home by balloon over the city to relocate. Excellently presented, but let down a tad by impossible to avoid dangers. Something to work on there, I think. And then Mikey, 20,011, introduces Unsolicited, with an awesome animated intro. Not able to bear all the unsolicited offers to buy his home, he uproots and goes on the defensive, fending off solicitors with nothing more than his home furniture. <laughs> Upgrades available. Hilarious. Next up, we have Shell Sweet Shell, another excellent entry by Not A School Account, where we take control of a sweet hermit crab on a mission to collect more shells. As always, wonderfully presented, but does it have the excitement to keep us playing? And lastly, City Rat by DJ Cato 29 follows Louis the Rat as they collect the parts required to build a new rat home, if they can avoid their natural predators, Snake, Eagle and Cat. I'm digging these retro game vibes. And now for the winner. And it's Unsolicited by Mikey 200011. A very humorous take on moving home. Very cool. Now casual games, similar to arcade but tending to be a lot simpler or laid back. Our first shortlisted entry is Oregon, another beautiful game by Werther 4, following a family on their way to a new home. Your job is to keep them alive by hunting game for food and fighting off bandits. Just how long can you hold out? In Peppermeister's game, So You Want a House, you've fallen into hard times and can't afford a home. So what do you do? You go and try your luck at the casino. Uh, don't try this at home, kids. And then it's moving day, and in relocating by Ian the Cool Guy, you have five minutes to move as many boxes from your old home to your new one. Loving that box carrying animation. Earn coins as you go to spend on upgrades and try to beat my high score. 
And finally, a simple game of sizing up. As an active hermit crab, you must eat fish, grow bigger, and find a new shell before you outgrow your old one. But be careful the seagull doesn't get you. It's a fun concept that could go far, but is it enough of a challenge? Well, it's winner time and this round goes to... Ian the Cool Guy and Relocating, just edging ahead of the competition with an easy to understand game that stuck fast to the theme. Well done you! So next up, best collecting games. Take to the seas on your floating home in rafts. A relaxing open world game by WY111004. Collect resources afloat in the sea and begin to craft upgrades for your raft. I love the exploration and constant expansion and upgrading system. Great job. What an awesome game. Following that, Dave McIngoo never disappoints. And Moving About is a simple yet fun game where you must move all the furniture from your home into the removal van within a rather tight time limit. Then in the home realm, by Mangos Jangos, you must strategically relocate the Beans homes to allow them to collect all the resources in the world. The trick is it costs you resources to move their homes, so you have to take each step wisely. But I do love these little cute beans. And finally, Survive the Winter by S209432. In this game, our carriage has broken down and we must survive the winter and build a new carriage to get back home. I just love the little characters, the chopping animation, the breaking animations and the keeping warm by the fire. Classic. But let's find out the winner. It's WY111004 with Rafts, an impressively expansive game with tons of potential and I really look forward to seeing updates in the future. It's well worth a play. So moving on, very appropriate for the Game Jam theme, best packing game. Here's our shortlisted entries. In Packing Frenzy, MNNM3344 tests our packing skills under pressure. I think I'm actually pretty good at this. Then Packham by FBGNS75 is an interesting one. It starts quite slow and I wasn't sure it quite had enough oomph to keep it exciting. But get past the first few levels, unlocking more packing stations and the challenge really begins. Awesome fun. Squid the Awesome also made a packing game, KTG's Packing Panic, where we take control of Cool Triangle Guy with the job of packing boxes in the removal van. Only it's parked over the other side of a busy main road. So watch out! <laughs> Lastly, in Moving Mayhem, Goats1664 has the cool concept of combining a stacking game with a driving game. I love this idea and it would be amazing if the two parts could be fleshed out a little more with more stacking puzzles and long driving sequences, but it's a great effort and really well done. But who's going to be the winner? It was a hard choice, but it's Squidgy the Awesome with KTG's Packing Panic. Nice one! And now we move on to puzzle games. I especially liked Sipporippo's take on the placement of furniture in Designer Rush, where you have a very limited amount of time to place the required furniture in the designated positions in each room. I love how the items stack and layer in front of each other. Very cool indeed. Good job. Ha! Llama Boy High perhaps overestimates my ability to see shades of colour. In Find the Difference, we are moving home and must find our kitten. If you can tell which one it is, what? All these kittens? Then C Naggy42 sneaked into the puzzle category even though this is blatantly a packing game. Oops. But this rendition takes a bit more thinking as the categorization of items is a lot more nuanced. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I'll leave that up to you when you play it. And last but not least, Tetris Movers Co. by Robodog81. A fun take on the classic Tetris game, where instead of dropping blocks, you're dropping furniture from above to fit as much into a room as possible without overlaps. But watch out for those items that fall or unfold on contact with the floor. A very clever idea. So, which puzzle takes the crown? It's Sipiripo with Designer Rush. Great job on creating such a well-polished game with a great user interface. So this next category is Best Simulation and it covers driving and sports games. 
As such, we begin with Moving House by Totally Not Cloud, and yeah, I recognise this car sim from my tutorial series. Except this time, you're driving your home to a new spot. Only watch out, don't crash your house! Adian Longlegs has their own take on the driving sim, this time taking control of a removal van, on call to pick up and deliver people's furniture. You must make use of the map to locate each destination, and the faster you deliver, the more cash you earn. Use the cash to upgrade your van's speed, and, and then earn cash even quicker. I just love the graphics on this one, so cool. And then lastly, not a car sim, but a baseball sim. How is this moving home? Well, moving to home base by Nuggety7, of course. To begin with, the picture is pretty lame. You don't see a ball coming your way very often. But they get better over time, and then you find you can't hit the ball either. But then you get to update your stats. I didn't know you could do that, but you can. And suddenly the tables turn. It has potential, but as they admit in the notes and credits, it might be a bit buggy. Which brings us to the winner of this simulation category, and it has to be Rapid Removals by Adian Longlegs. A very well done to you. And so, our last gaming category, Best Strategy Game. And Spider Mario shows us how it's done with Building Home. You must place down items in order to gather more resources. So a tree will give you back sticks, and a mountain will give you rocks. You must take your time and build up your resources to acquire new building abilities, and eventually build your dream home. Awesome. But if you like a little more battling in your strategy game, Awkward Auction by CoolCoder13 may be more up your street. Battle to claim your land back from the red guys and earn enough money to purchase your dream home. To do this, you must spawn new workers and get them to work in the mine. Then use that money to create an army to take on the red foes. Yay, I win! But how exactly do I buy the home at the end? I'm not sure. And then lastly, we have a new home by Prolapse. A super ambitious project of building a community. Start with a single house and then expand out, cutting down trees for wood, building new homes, supporting new residents with water and shops, building schools, mining rocks, setting up barracks in case you get invaded, and there's a lot to be done. And the cute graphics and the constant upgrades of your settlement keep the game fun. But who is going to claim the best strategy game for this jam? Yes, ProLabs has it, with a new home for an epic and very entertaining game. Well done. And well done to all the winners and to everyone who took part this month. There were so many good projects and I wish I had time to show them all. But that's it from me today. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Scratch on, guys.